Welcome to Winnipeg. This is the largest and capital city of the province of Manitoba, situated right in the center of Canada. It's known for its friendly spirit, amazing architecture, and delicious food scene from pierogies to poutine. Join us as we take a tour of the architecture, history, and culture of this city. Let's go check it out. We start with a walking tour of the Exchange District, an architectural haven and national historic site. So the area that I'm in right now is called the Exchange. It's currently kind of like an arts district and they film a lot of movies here, but it's the largest concentration of historic buildings. And it's called the Exchange because of the Grain Exchange. Our guide pointed out the prominent buildings that take you back to the city's industrial past. The city is often called the Chicago of the North, as many of the buildings are done in Chicago architecture style, and it was once also a bustling railroad city. Today, many of these iconic buildings have been converted into restaurants, so let's check it out. So we are at this really cool restaurant called Amsterdam Tea Room and Bar, and this is a peach sour, and they have all kinds of tea here. I ordered one called Purple Rain. It's a herbal tea. Cheers. Just got the chickpea soup with Brussels sprouts and fresh bread. Winnipeg features gastronomic delights around almost every corner. We find arancini and handmade pasta at the Oxbow restaurant for a fraction of what it would cost you at other large cities. Our hotel, the Mir Hotel, is situated right along a garden walking path. We are walking through these beautiful landscaped gardens right next to our hotel, the Mir Hotel, and this is called the Winnipeg Parkway System. Just look at this, it's so gorgeous, so beautifully landscaped, and it's right along the Red River. here at the Canadian Museum of Human Rights. This is the only museum in the world dedicated to the evolution, celebration, and future of human rights. So just walking in, you can feel how imposing this building is. Wow. On either side, there's the, these really tall walls. The Canadian Museum for Human Rights is one of the top attractions in Winnipeg, and it strives to promote respect and encourage reflection. On top of that, the architecture is stunning. Stay tuned for a future video on this museum, as we have so much to tell you about. Hey guys, we are at the Forks here in Winnipeg. Behind us is the museum that we just came from. And this area is like a meeting place. There's a lot of people doing picnics. It's Canada Day, July 1st. It's a really busy area, lots of activities, and the Winnipeg sign. So this is a sculpture by Ai Weiwei, a Chinese-born artist, and it's called Forever Bicycles. This Canada Day saw a new approach to the celebrations with a downplay on the colonialism and a focus on indigenous heritage. We are at this park and we're getting ready for a performance. They just lit the fire. where they have literally every single type of food you can possibly imagine. There's so many people here, it's awesome. It's a food hall behind us, you can see just how big it is. And I am in search of finding something uniquely Canadian to eat. Let's go see if we can find it.
This is called a prairie fruit pie with Saskatoon berries from Saskatchewan. Oh my goodness, look at that! Mmm, mmm, wow. Similar to blueberry, but a little bit less sweet. And I went to the common at the Forks Market here in Winnipeg. Cheers. Happy Canada. So the store has all kinds of treasures that are made right here in Winnipeg. Jewelry and soap. Air fresheners that smell like maple. We're checking out the quartz right here. Beautiful dome right there. And one thing you'll notice about Winnipeg is a lot of the buildings are connected by these corridors. It's really helpful, especially in the winter. Yeah, so this is one of the most historic buildings that we've walked by. Most of them are pretty much brand new construction and there's not a lot of people out today. So we are walking down Memorial Boulevard and right here is the legislature building. How cool. We're walking around the city and we're going to the Winnipeg Art Museum. Art gallery. Yeah. We are inside the gallery right now and the gallery cost $18 for admission for adults and we are checking out an exhibit of ceramics. And what's interesting is that the plaques here have the native language. This painting was done in 1875 and depicts the forks in the British immigration. This is so cool. Look at that. Look how interactive this museum is. So these buildings right here were built in 1886. Oh my gosh, we were just saying, this place looks like a movie set. There's all of these beautiful historic brick buildings all mixed in and we kind of have the whole city to ourselves today. The weather couldn't be more perfect. It's like champagne weather. We're exploring Ooh. this beautiful town, the Exchange District. Join us. So yeah. this right here is our hotel and then right here is the Red River and Winnipeg means muddy waters in the native language. For dinner, we head to the historic James Pump House, built in 1906, which serves comfort food and delicious handcrafted cocktails. Guys, we are at a historic pump house turned restaurant, and I'm trying to fell in love with a sipper. Cheers. Wow. It's got like a light hint of strawberry. We just got the longest pierogi ever. Oh my goodness. Amazing. A little creamy, but creamy in all the right way. So we're walking back to our hotel. It's a very classy part of town. Hey guys, we are at the Mirror Hotel here in Winnipeg. Look at this beautiful bed. I love the lighting. Now, we had a few minutes from downtown Winnipeg to the Assiniboine Park, one of the premier tourist attractions. Look at this delicious traditional poutine, baby. We are at the Assiniboine Park here in Winnipeg, and this is a beautiful recreational park, and they even have the zoo here. We just ate at the cafe. Yes. Behind us is the pavilion. Look at the cool architecture on that. Very Wes Anderson. And now we're gonna go to the zoo. They have a polar bear exhibit. Let's go. So this is 1,100 acres of parkland. It's kind of similar to a central park. Even the bathrooms are nice here. A little bit of cricket in the park. Yeah. Woo! Polar bear exhibit. We're going in the polar bear tunnel. They usually swim above us. Look how cool this is. 
So we are at the zoo right now and we just finished going through the Arctic Tunnel, the polar bear exhibit, and the polar bears came here from Churchill of the Northern Manitoba. We enjoy nice long summer days here in Winnipeg as the sun doesn't set until about 9.30 p.m. We walk across the pedestrian footbridge that spans the Red River and check out the beautiful nighttime views of the city. We hope that you get a chance to visit Winnipeg very soon. Be sure to check the links in the descriptions below for all of our recommendations featured in this video. Hit the like button and subscribe for more travel videos.